today we're here for a very important purpose to give out uh, at a very reasonable price a pair of sheep to expand our existing stock of sheep farmers in Fiji. The sheep pair is uh, basically a cross between Australian Dopa and the, our own uh, breed Fiji Fantastic. So we will be giving out um, about a number of uh, farmers this pair uh, of, of sheep today. We did this in 2019. I don't know whether we did that before, like giving out a pair to new farmers who start off. Because I wanted, we wanted new farms to come up, new sheep farms to come up. We will talk about that. So in 2019, right on the other side there, we gave out uh, sheep pairs to 75 farmers in the Western Division, 32 farmers in the Northern Division were also given this pair of a male and female sheep F1 cross between Dopa and Fiji Fantastic. The data that I have in hand from that to 2019, 2020, 21, 2022, I've noted that the numbers from the two, uh, the, the number of farmers data I have has gone up to about 12, 13. Now they have 12 or 13. So it's a reasonable small size farm now from the two. This is what we want to see over time, it multiplies. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we are today, we get it here to give out a total of 23 pairs uh, to Western Division. We'll be giving out 29 pairs to Northern Division farmers and 9 pairs to Central Division. So, a total of 61 pairs that we will give out, give out which means we'll have 61 new chief farms to start off. To start off. Now, in in uh, 2009, we had around 14,000 uh, sheep amongst 818 farmers. So we had 818 farmers holding on an average 17 sheep per farm on an average, 818. Now, 2019, we have got. Uh, about 30,000 uh, uh, farmers, 30,000 stock, and around 900 farmers. So that's a substantial gain from uh, 14,000 stock to 30,000, nearly double, more than double, and farmer numbers have increased slightly. So uh, we are very, uh, very happy to see this uh, major growth in uh, sheep, but we are lagging behind substantial. We are importing close to 4,200 tons of lamb meat every year. And we are spending about $48,000 uh, on this importation of lamb meat. And only 48, $48 million of lamb meat every year. $48 million. And we are importing about 4,200 tons. tons. That's 42,000 kilograms. Now, that's 98% of all the lamb that is consumed in Fiji. 2% is what we are generating. So, there is no more scope to raise production, not to worry about the market. If I ask you, let's say you, assume you come to uh, Noizomba area and say you want to buy, you're looking to buy a sheep to, to slaughter and consume. Very difficult to get. And that applies to anywhere, even go difficult to get. So, uh, you know, we need to expand production. Market is not an issue. Market is right on our doorstep. We don't have to look at mar look for market. We are importing, importing forty-eight million dollars worth of lamb meat. So that is the basic drive that we have: is we want to expand sheep production. Now, in two thousand and seventeen. Uh, prior to my joining uh, uh, agriculture, the ministry had released um, the uh, had done some research uh, on uh, the, um, uh, the base, various breeds we have, and they noted that the uh, cross breeds that we have 
they've got an average birth weight of 3.8 kg. So at the birth time, 3.8 kg is a very high uh, weight. And they have a better average body, the F1 cross. And the average weaning weight is about 11.2 kg. So that's a weaning weight. So they can, get, they can go up to 40 kilo, 50 kilo, 60 kilo uh, uh, at the prime, prime time. So we are very uh, excited. We have also seen farmers who have taken the F1. They are very excited, very keen to see uh, the rapid growth, the resilience, the, the, um, the resilience of the sheep in this uh, weather condition. And that is because of the research that has been undertaken to ensure that the breed that we release has got these various genetic attributes that we would want that is required to grow to raise the sheep in Fiji. We don't want to basically import a breed from Australia and introduce here and then we find that the breed is not able to survive, not able to withstand this, this um, tropical climate. We don't want them to start you know, breathing uh, heavily when they go out in the daytime to graze. So that is precisely why any breed that we get, we basically see that we can, whether we can um, uh, crossbreed and get them to acquire the attributes that we that is required for Fiji condition. And once it's acquired the Fiji condition, the other countries in the Pacific Island, they buy from us at a premium price. Our Fiji fantastic breed was well sought after in the Pacific some years back. So, so one of the things we are doing is we are giving out this pair to new sheep farmers. So we've got 61 new sheep farmers today. One of the other thing that we are doing is we are giving out breeder ships because what is happening, there's a lot of inbreeding going on within the farm. They're using the same breeder in and out, year in, year, in, year out. So in doing so, you are losing the genetic attributes. In three, four years time, your entire uh, sheep stock, the size will start to shrink because they are no longer the original breed. So what we are doing is, one, we are encouraging farmers to exchange the breeder among themselves. Two, about two months ago, we gave out a number of farmers the, um, uh, sorry, that was for goat. So we're doing that for goat. We will be gonna do that with sheep. We'll give out breeder sheep to farmers at a very reasonable price so that they can uh, change the breeder. So we want farmers, those who have received breeder uh, sheep, they must exchange. They will not be eligible to get a new breeder. We'll give out the breeder to new ones, but we will help the farmers at our cost to exchange the breeder among themselves. Now this year, we've got a number of uh, packages to assist the sheep farmers, livestock farmers. We've got um, fencing packages for sheep farmers. We've got um, a sheep shed package for sheep farmers, uh, which we want them to apply. And uh, we, uh, this close to, uh, uh, about four hundred thousand dollars worth of uh, packages for fencing material and for ship shed to construct ship shed. Uh, we are also um, uh, allocating, uh, uh, intending to allocate to support twenty-eight farmers to improve their sheds, night product at an allocation of two hundred eighty thousand. So this is for the existing fifty farmers that we have. So with these words, it's my pleasure to hand over to you. Uh, I see the the ships they are getting restless. So, uh, look, uh, my pleasure to hand over to you the pair of ships, and I do hope that in three years' time, four years' time, when our staff uh, visits to take the stock count, then you'll find that the stock numbers have increased. Thank you.